huge enemy to spirituality is monotony. Probably not what you're expecting to hear, but think about it. Do you ever feel like when you're praying, you're just going through the motions, or it's super repetitive, you're saying the same things over and over again? Well, that's because the more that we do something, the less novel or exciting it becomes. It's not as stimulating and fresh. So the best way to keep up our spirituality is to routinely change the way we do our routine. And so in this video, I will share with you six ways to spice up your prayers. The first one is pray out loud. If you think about it, Joseph Smith, his first uttered prayer resulted in such a miraculous experience, seeing God the Father and his son Jesus Christ. So much power comes when we pray out loud and it helps us to direct our focus. Tip number two, write down your prayers. Kind of like praying in the form of a letter. Address God and then write down what you're grateful for or what's in your heart and what you want from him or blessings for other people. And then you can close it in the name of Jesus Christ and then also sign your name, Love Emily. And doing that was a sacred experience for me, especially as I was able to flip back and see those prayers that I had written and see the people I had prayed for and to see answers to those prayers that had come. It also helps to direct your thoughts and your focus because for me, I think a lot faster than I write and so having to write down my prayers slowed down my thought process and was a lot more meaningful. Tip number three, say because more. Okay, what do I mean by that? In our prayers, we often say what we're grateful for. We're counseled to thank Heavenly Father in all things, and so we do. And a lot of times our prayers sound like, thank you for this day, thank you for all our many blessings. Does that sound familiar, right? Add a because after that. And that will help you think about specific reasons you're thankful for that, and it will add depth and meaning into that prayer. And so when you say, I am thankful for this day because I got a good grade on my test, or I got to see my family, or the sun is out. Number four, focus your prayer on the needs of others. Oftentimes we pray for the things that we need and the things that we are grateful for, which is great, but take a moment to pray for other people by name and picture their faces in your mind and think about the struggles that they are going through. And then you can pray for them. Think about how powerful it would be to pray for the prophet by name, to pray for your bishopric by name, those you minister to, each one of your family members, thinking of their image and their needs, and it brings a whole new level of spirituality to your prayers. Number five, find a secluded spot where you can pray on your knees and picture yourself kneeling down before the throne of God or kneeling down in the presence of God and Jesus Christ and picture them standing there illuminating light and love and glory listening to you as you pray bow down before them picture them really listening to you and loving you and right there next to you you will feel close to heaven and close to God number six spend time listening what do I mean by that well one time Mother Teresa was interviewed and they asked her, when you pray, what are you talking to God about? What are you asking him for? And she said, I'm just listening. And they're like, oh, okay, cool. What is God saying to you? And she said, he's listening. And she went on to explain that they listen to each other. And I think that's such a beautiful sentiment because oftentimes when we kneel down to pray, we're talking to God and we want him to talk back and that's that. We want the answers to our concerns. It's okay that you don't always feel like you have a direct answer to your prayer, but know that God is listening to you and with you, that he's right there and he will send you peace and comfort if you take the time to pause and to feel it. So those are my six tips to help you spice up your prayers. As you change up your routines, you will feel an added measure of the spirit. Good luck and I can't wait to see how it goes for you.